Hello dear friends, the day after plus 11 uh, Yeah, as for the COVID um, It happened uh, as I more or less forecasted that there will be an increase in the number of um, infected persons after the some nine to ten days after the relaxation of the extraordinary I mean, the state of emergency and the restrictive measures and it's it just so happened however good thing uh, according to my opinion again i'm not an oh they destroyed one more plot of land i just see it uh, the very left so there will be another building here Whew. i believe half of the europe and um, quarter of each of every other continent will be moving to belgrade I mean, from what I can tell, uh, judged on the number of the apartments that are being built at the moment. But I bet, guess these all, all these people, they know what they're, they're doing. Not absolutely sure, but um, I hope. Um, yeah, so I, I think that this um, increase in the number of um, infected persons on a daily number, because after a long, long period, I mean more than 10 days, the number jumped over 100 again. Um, yeah. Um, to me, the important thing is that the number of people with heavy symptoms is very low. I mean, we have 17 people on resp respirators, which is okay. It's not convenient for those people, but I will, what to say? Still, it's good because we used to have over 120, so this is 10 times less. Okay, uh, as you can see, there are a few people wearing masks, but get, generally I believe that the people in Serbia have already forgotten about COVID. Okay, some of them are wearing gloves as well, hmm, interesting. Um, uh, it is already forgotten because um, some people say that Serbs have a short memory, which because of the number of uh, important events, I mean, this is now my theory. But some of you like my theory, so I'm <laughs> I'll keep telling them. Uh, my judge, because I also lived uh, abroad in the west, uh, Germany. Um, essentially, nothing special happened to them uh, since the Second World War, of course. Um, and in general to the Western Europe, what what has happened? I mean, since the Second World War, nothing. I mean, not no spectacular events. But uh, compare this with um, with ex Yugoslavia. Uh, yeah. The, my. I mean, I, okay, let's not say anything in the period before, but but even before it was the Infor Bureau, it was uh, Maspok, it was uh, some uh, um, troubles at Kosovo even in the 90s, in the 80s. Uh, then the wars of the 90s, the hyperinflation here in Serbia, much worse, I mean, much many worse things have happened to, to the rest of republics, except for Slovenia. Okay, and Macedonia, to some extent. Um, so, because of this, I mean, it was important to survive. I mean, these are the events that uh, for you are in 
if you make a wrong judgment, you will not survive, you and your family. I mean, the Western Europeans did not have these issues ever since the Second World War. And many of them also during the Second World War, except for the, okay, uh, larger towns that are being that have been bombarded, uh, etc. On both sides, I mean, in Germany and in the UK. Or, but look at the other countries. I mean, okay, the res the, the resistant uh, movements did not exist anywhere in Europe except for Yugoslavia. And um, okay, to some extent in France. And, uh, but else, I mean, okay, some, I mean, and also Greek partisans, etc., etc. But that was it, essentially. So the only country that off, I mean, practically provided some resistance to, to the Germans, not in the first wave that much, because of our regular army was, okay, I mean, not very heavy, I mean, not very strong because of the First World War as well, etc., etc. I mean, because of many issues. And yeah, and then I mean, Croatia declared the independent state of Croatia, joined practically the Nazis. Okay, Slovenia was very small, so oh, there was a resistance there as well, you know, needless to say, but. Um, not in the way as it existed in Serbia, Bosnia, um, Montenegro, Macedonia as well. Um, never mind, uh, I didn't want to tell you. Uh, okay, there it is connected somehow to one of the events because I read this morning again what has happened, uh, what, what had happened on today's date throughout the history. And um, the first uh, significant event was the beginning of the siege of Malta. In uh, 1565, the Ottomans tried to conquer Malta because they conquered practically all other uh, important I islands in the Mediterranean. Um, but Malt the knights of Malta was, I mean, kept resisting. The same knights uh, were fighting Ottomans uh, in, uh, in other islands such as Rhodos, Creta, and offered quite some, despite the, the very, I mean, the huge dif difference in the numbers, I mean, they were heavily outnumbered by the Ottomans, but they were resisting heavily even in Creta. For Rhodos, you probably all know, because there is an old town, Rhodos, um, the castle, uh, the fortification, etc., and the whole story about the, uh, the Maltesians. Um, however, um, yeah, there was also heavy resistance in Creta. They were fighting, uh, yeah, they were fighting very well there. However, the, they, they couldn't uh, get... I mean, keep it forever. But then, when we, they withdrawn to when they have withdrawn to Malta, to their homeland, uh, they offered them an extremely well resistance, and the Ottomans never managed to, to conquer it. Um, then the second interesting event uh, was uh, has happened in uh, 1803 when England declared the war to France because of the allegedly because of the French. Involvement, involve, involvement in um, some events in Italy and Switzerland. I mean, French back then tried to dominate Europe, essentially, I mean, the continental Europe at least. Uh, the Brits didn't like it, and hence the, hence the attack. But only one year after, and exactly on the same, at the same date, uh, Napoleon was uh, crowned in France and uh, Napoleon was, yeah, then uh, practically 
Revolution started even a larger domination of of France in Europe. Now they also try to go to Russia, but Russia, <laughs> Russia is difficult. They went, I mean, they managed to go into Moscow. However, the Russians have withdrawn from Moscow and left the empty town. So the supply lines of the frame, but you know the story. And then uh, they start, I mean, after some while, then the, during winter, they started kicking back because Russian troops were, were much better prepared than for winter time. Russian winters, yes. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this was, uh, so this coincided in, whoa, what an idiot, what an idiot, driving a truck like that. Cretino di Capri, Cretino di Belgrado. Um, 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 this happened in, uh, this coincided with the first Serbian rebel against Turks. So this, I found it interesting. But actually, to me, the maybe the most interesting uh, event, okay, no, not maybe the most, but uh, it happened in 1944 during the Second World War. Uh, the Allies finally managed to break the resistance at Monte Casino in Italy. Monte Casino used to be a, mo I mean, is a monastery at the mountain peak, at the very mountain peak. And um, uh, when um, Allied troops uh, finally decided to open the, the, the additional front in Italy. Uh, first Sicily and then they jumped to southern Italy. They started their, their famous road to Rome. Uh, those one of you who... Um, play computer games, they know that the... I mean the famous franchise, I mean, the, the game Battle, Battlefields. Um, initially it was Battlefield uh, 1942, but then there were some several extensions. There is uh, one of the extensions called The Road to Rome. Um, the Road to Rome. Um, okay, I'll stop here for a second and uh, continue later.